I have thoughts. I work my ass off. It is morning till night for me to try to grow a following, not for compliments, not for popularity. It's to help women, it's to grow a community, and it's to make money. If you don't know already, I've been a licensed hairstylist and makeup artist for years. I'm 51 years old, so you can imagine the years of experience I have. And I once said to my spiritual healer friend, if I could do it for free, I would. And she said, don't say that. She said, Julie, there has to be an equal exchange of energy. You can't give all your energy with nothing in return or you'll have none left. And that's kind of where I'm at right now. And it's not the viewer's fault. Can somebody explain to me how you can get a billion streams and not get a million dollars? Like that shit don't make sense to me. Like, I don't know. Who running the streaming industry if you in here or not nigga, you need to give us some information on how to track this money down because one plus one ain't adding up to two that shit don't add up and i have to say it because that's the main gripe with a lot of us artists is that we do major numbers with streams and this shit but it don't add up to the money it's not being translated and, and it's not working for the artists right now and i just want to speak to that i have a fashion hack video on here on tiktok and it has 69,000 views I didn't make any money from that. A hairstyling video using a shark. I have 35,000 views. I bought the shark myself. I didn't make any money off of that. There's another one using the shark flex style and I have 12,000 views, no money made. Cut my own hair in a video. It has 2.1 million views. I made no money. I have a Zara video that has 112,000 views, 112.5 thousand views. And I applied to be an affiliate for Zara and they declined me. I have people watching on TikTok, on Facebook, on Instagram. Instagram's my lowest one, but it's frustrating. And now YouTube is going to shorts. I checked back. Do you know how much money I made on YouTube shorts? I started posting to shorts in December, $11, $11. I'm rethinking my whole purpose. My initial goal was to help women and I wanna help women. That makes me feel good and makes my heart feel good. But I'm so exhausted. As soon as I started getting success with my videos and reached out by a few brands, not many, but by a few, I thought, okay, this is gonna be successful. I'm actually gonna be able to make my own money. And I tried harder. I thought, okay, this is my sign. I'm doing the right thing. But am I doing the right thing? Here's another interesting fact that I just cannot understand. I ordered underwear from this Canadian company. I'm Canadian. When I see a Canadian company, I get really excited. And if I really believe in the company, I want to promote. So I ordered underwear for my daughter and myself from this company. I made the video. I wasn't asked to make a video, but I kind of filmed my life in general. So I went ahead and filmed the video. I edited it edited it and I sent it to them and I asked them if they wanted to buy it. I didn't expect that they would, but I thought, well, hey, I really went through the effort. It was a genuine customer experience. I really liked the product and I have an audience. They've never answered me and this gets better. They have an affiliate program. I applied for the affiliate program. They said no, they declined. What the fuck? So I obviously got the idea that they didn't have the budget to pay for the video, which is fine. They're a smaller company. I'm a Canadian content creator supporting a Canadian brand. I paid for the underwear. I made the video. I paid for more underwear for my daughter. And you can't approve me for an affiliate code so that I can maybe make some commission off of it? I'm so frustrated. I don't know what to do. I miss helping women one-on-one. -on -one but my health doesn't allow it. I can't do it. So after all this ranting, I have a question for you. Would you or anybody that you know be interested in having online one-on-one -on -one consultations regarding your hair, regarding your makeup, regarding fashion, just life in general? Would anybody be interested in that? I would rather spend my time connecting one-on-one -on -one and helping, like legitimately helping women and getting paid. You know, I deserve to get paid. I'm working hard. I have skills. I'm motivated. I really feel like I have more of a purpose than to help people sell their product. Yes, I wanna make money. I need that equal exchange of energy. I need to get something back. And as much as I love getting to know all of you women that comment all the time, like I wish I could list them off because I get excited when I see your names. I'm getting to know people. There's a girl in Canada here that we just, we think that we would be best friends if we lived close. I even have a friend in Denmark and she comments on all my YouTube videos and we know each other by name and we give hugs from Canada and Denmark. Like that is special. I want more of that. Being an artist is hard. Being a giver is hard. Both of them combined is even harder because you can be a caregiver 
and work in a corporate world or own a business that doesn't have to do with art and you can make a lot of money. But if you're an artist and if it's something as simple as makeup, you know, I don't know, or maybe it's my age. Maybe it's because I'm 51 and brands just don't think the audience is there. I don't want to rely on my husband or anyone else for money. As kind and as loving as he is, and as successful as he is and will be, he started his own business about a year and a half ago. Like I have complete faith in our finances, but I wanna make my own money. I don't wanna to have to rely on anyone else and I don't know what tomorrow will bring. So yeah, opinions, thoughts. I think I know how to make women feel good and I like helping. If you have a question and I don't know it, I'm gonna find the answer. I like doing that. Anyway, that's my rant. That's what my husband's had to listen to the past couple days. And I just thought, you know what? I'm gonna actually make a video about this and just vent because it's frustrating. I don't wanna entertain people for free. I want something out of it. I want you to feel good. I wanna help you. And in return, I would like to help myself.